Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on. If not, welcome back. A um, little update on what's been going on. I haven't been posting a lot, you know, with this whole coronavirus crap going on. I mean, here in Michigan, we're all shut down. So I've been working, but haven't really been doing much other than that. A um, little update on the truck, I guess. So I took it to an uncle of mine and he was thinking that the valve body was crap and the solenoid pack was causing fourth gear to, to stick open and not go back. It was putting itself in limp mode. So we got a valve body for it, replaced the solenoid pack, uh, replaced the line pressure sensor, and still nothing, which I didn't get my hopes up for it. I was, I guess I was kind of hoping I wasn't gonna waste my money. It was gonna do something, but um, I got in touch with Derek Rose from DNR Customs and He's got a trans that he's gonna sell to me for pretty cheap. So I think we're gonna go pick that up and just replace the solenoid pack because the trans came out of a 16 and the newer solenoid packs don't work on the older trucks. So, I mean, I guess I really didn't waste my money. I mean, I just bought a solenoid pack for something I was eventually gonna need. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna go pick that up from him drop it off to my uncle he's gonna replace the trans for me i don't really have the room or the tools to do it right now um i mean i guess i have the tools i just don't really have the room so i think that's what we're gonna do but today what we're gonna do right now is the daily driver that i bought the little ford focus i was coming around the corner the other day and i felt like the freaking wheel was about to fall off of it in the back so i pull over and um Sure enough, the wheels looks like it's about ready to fall off. So I'm heading over to my dad's right now because my most of my tools are in the back of my truck. So we're gonna I'm gonna head over there and we're gonna pop this back wheel off and see what the hell is going on back here. Oh man, I can feel it right now. This wheel feels like, feels like it's about to fall right off. Um, just kind of taking a slow cruising over to his house. He only lives a couple streets over, but. doing some backwards donuts the other day. Threw a mud hole in this thing. Now the exhaust is rattling. She's doing backwards donuts through a trail. Be like that at all. Yeah. Yeah, she's toast. Fuck. Well, that's gonna have to get replaced. Definitely got his wheel bearing. Let's take it off so we do She out. Damn near, pert near there, Bill. Couple of more uh, adjustments here with the persuader. It only took uh, an hour. This is what you call a stubborn buyer. Hit that side. Don't tell me what to do, Bill. <clears throat> Got her. I knows what I'm doing. Sweet! Yeah, I say it was a little worn out there, Bob. <laughs> See these things here? Those are called roller bearings. And uh, they rolled their last roll. Are they rollers or needles? Well, roller, I, those are roller bearing, or I guess you'd call them needles, but they're big Do needles. they needle their last way? They needle needly good neighbor. Oh yeah, look. That's some good stuff, some extras. That's those all that is. Things made out of spare parts. Dude, this is a piece of cake job. You made a big mountain out of a fucking molehill. Go get the bearing, Bill. Well, what about this guy? Hopefully it didn't, uh... Blah, 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 blah. It might have fucked this rotor up. Gotta get that there race out there, Bill. 
Oh, way down. Watch your eyes. It's pretty soft metal. I'm gonna try and chisel that fucker. Hold on. Finally got it off. It only took about two hours and a bunch of grinding and cutting and smacking. It's finally off there. And then we bought the bearing. But instead. Alright, so finally got that thing done. My uh my dad did most of the work. Every time I come over, if we got a project or something we want to work on, he's usually the one that ends up doing all the work. It's just me and him are both the same. We both enjoy doing it, so keeps his mind off it keeps my mind off it but got the wheel bearing done that was kind of a pain in the ass honestly the uh <clears throat> the bearing itself was only 30 bucks and the back side of the bearing was stuck on the spindle and it was froze on there so we angle grind a little bit of it as you can see in the video uh took a chisel to it that was a long time of just smacking it um but we got it on it's good i ended up just buying the whole the whole rotor or the whole drum it came with the bearing press inside of it so we didn't have to press anything and press stuff out and try and get the race out and all that good stuff so we got that out and um i did end up getting a hold of derek again from dnr and uh basically what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna go i'm gonna pick my truck up i'm gonna go drop it off with him and uh he's gonna end up just swapping the trans for me so he'll swap the valve body, the solenoid pack over. Cause like I said, the newer style, the, um, the fourth gens, I believe the solenoid pack doesn't work with the old body style or the third gen. So he's going to swap all that stuff over and said he should have it done sometime this week. So I'm hoping that we can get this thing back so I can start doing the things I wanted to do to that truck. You know, I had, I sold the wheels and tires off it. So now it's just sitting on stock wheels, which looks kind of crappy, but it is what it is. So that's pretty oh, much it.
Great one over there. that's going through the solenoid through my pressure plate. Gotcha. Well, the six, six load is pretty good. We put 60 pounds of uh, 60 pounds of air inside all the bags. I seem to lift it up pretty good. Well, that's pretty much it now. You're good. That's pretty much it now. Drop the truck off and you get the trans fixed now. Buddy six load did pretty good. Pretty good the whole way there. Nice temperatures were nice and low, so we'll, uh, we'll let you guys know how it goes afterwards. So thanks for watching.